What's up guys, Josh here with PlanetChinchilla.com. Welcome back to the Planet Chinchilla YouTube channel. Thank you for coming back. The channel specifically designed for new or current chinchilla owners who need that help, have frequently asked questions, or just wanna watch chinchillas interact. So if that's you, help us out with that YouTube algorithm and give us a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel down below and hit that notification bell. Otherwise, I wanna make a quick video today about safe treats for your chinchilla. We're not gonna go over all of them. I'm actually only gonna cover two of them. In this video, we're gonna make it short and sweet, but we're starting right now. All right guys, so we got Asher out here playing down in the playpen, trying to get her warmed up to me as quickly as I can. We've only had her for about three or four days now, so we're working on it. We're seeing what we can do. It's a process, guys. You gotta stay patient, that is for sure. Trying to follow her around and get some footage for you guys. But today, I wanna specifically talk about safe treats. And again, I'm only covering two, but I do understand the stresses that you can go through when you're at a pet store or when you're trying to order the, that kind of stuff online and you just don't know what's safe and then once you give it to them you're you know up all night thinking about it you guys know what i'm talking about you get to the pet store and you start thinking you know which one you want to go with which one might be the healthiest and then you bring it home you spend the money on it and then you start to think where else where there will be bad reviews what else am i going to find out about this so with chinchillas there's an easier approach that you can take cover two today We'll do a different video covering them all, but today I want to cover the rose hips, dried rose hips, and the granulated bee pollen. So I'm going to show you guys that, and we're going to talk about it for a second. What's up, Asher? Don't be scared. Eat my shoe. Eat my shoes. Come on up. Come on up and play. Say hi to everybody. There you go. Yeah. All right guys, let's start with these rose hips. Here's what they look like. They come in a bag like this. These are the dried rose hips. And I ordered these from Chinchilla City, the website Chinchilla City. They have a bunch of stuff on that website. Go check it out, it's a good website. But I'm gonna pull one of these out and we're gonna see if she likes it. These are known to be a safe option for your chinchilla. Just letting you guys know that right off the bat. So we're gonna give it a try here with her. And we're gonna see if she is a fan of them or not. Let the taste testing begin. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I got one for you. Here's a rose hip. Well, it appears that she loves it. Do you like the rose hip? Hmm. Again, we're trying to take it a little slow with this bonding process here with her. You gonna eat my shoe? You looking for more treats? And the next guys, here's what those granulated bee pollen, gr sorry, the granules of the bee pollen look like. Tiny, and they're not supposed to ever get a lot of these at once. So, I mean, I would just, offer a tiny bit every time that you do it. It's a treat, it's supposed to be a luxury. This isn't going in her food bowl, nor should it, so offer it as a treat. We're talking like, let her eat one out of your hand and see how it goes. Well, she's doing pretty good with all this. So, let's see if she likes that. Let's see how that goes. It's spunky. Get one of those out. And again, guys, I'm literally doing, I'll show you my finger, the tiniest, just one itty bitty one. Oh, almost lost it. Let's see how she does with this one. She actually didn't take that one, but she definitely, I think it's because it almost kind of broke in my hand. So she seemed super interested in it and must have really liked the scent of it. 
but it like almost, I had it in my hand too long, so it like kind of became powdery, like broke up a little bit. But honestly, I'm not trying to give her a bunch of treats all at once, so I'm not even gonna do it again. The rose hip was enough for tonight. Um, but I wanted it to be apparent that you have those two options. Again, it can be stressful and you can waste, and you can waste a lot of money not knowing what to get them in the beginning. So I wanted to make sure I covered two of those safe options that you can use so that you knew, you know, something as like a couple starter items that you could get if you have a new chinchilla or two small bags of treats so you don't have to fight through the pet stores understanding the entire nutritional label and if it's safe and guys again with treats go easy on the treats they shouldn't be non-stop it shouldn't be in their cage you know like a abundance of them it should be offered seldomly or i mean if you've owned one for a while whatever you know is safe for yours quantity wise you do you that's fine but for the most part you want to stick to that timothy hay and those like the oxbow type pellets you don't want to go treat crazy but i did want to get something out there for you guys so you had an, an idea of a couple of the things i like to get her just so you kind of know what we use what i believe in as far as treats go and again just so you have a couple options overall guys we've had her now for i mean it's been about four days so we'll be coming up on a week again the the previous chinchilla we had for the longest time on the channel did pass away but this one is crazy she's spunky She's warming up fast. It's been awesome. And as always, guys, give us a thumbs up on the video if you like this kind of content. Be sure to subscribe. Never forget to head over to planetchinchilla.com. URL will be going across the bottom of the screen now. Just punch that into your address bar. Go check it out. Useful blog. Don't forget about the ebook on the website by going to ebook downloads. You can use promo code chincare50, C H I N C A R E, 50 at checkout for 50% off of that. Again, give us a thumbs up on the video, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.